Hello everyone and welcome back to Politics Now, we're talking about modern politics and modern America. And today, DeSantis has continued to fall in the polls and it's likely that his campaign isn't going to recover anytime soon. So, yeah, let's get into that. So, DeSantis has not been doing that well recently and he is currently floating around 4.8. He usually, right now, is at 14%. He... You, he's kind of hovering around the 15%, but it's probably going to go lower than that because his campaign is being run absolutely horribly, and I don't really see it recovering at all. He has run his campaign in a way where he basically has nowhere to go. He has no strategy. There is no clear direction for his campaign, and it's pretty obvious because he's polling at 15%. You can't win a nomination when you're polling at 15%. Hillary Clinton lost the nomination in 2008, and she was polling at 45%. DeSantis is polling at 15%, and people still believe that he can win the nomination. No, he is not going to win the nomination. It is not a possibility that he can win the nomination when he's polling at 15%, and it hasn't even been a... Uh, nominally or just a sort of bad luck situation where it's a outlier in the polls where he's normally pulling at a pretty decent size no he's been going down consistently for months he's gone down to 20 and then fell even further to 18 he stayed there for a while and now he's fallen to 14 he is going to continue to fall because there's no clear direction and there's no evidence that he is moving his campaign in a direction where he can go forward and improve his poll numbers because soon we're going to have the debates. And Ron DeSantis, he is not good at debating at all. And he does not have enough charisma that he can make up for his lack of debate skills where the debates are going to be very widely seen, which, yeah, maybe the first debate might not be widely seen because... It is a very likely Trump move that he's not going to join the de first debate and just do a segment with Tucker Carlson. And when that gets better ratings and poll numbers and his polls go up, there he's going to see that as a win. And DeSantis is going to suffer from that because it's going to show how unpopular he is when they don't e people don't even tune into the Republican debate and instead they tune into a Trump Tucker segment. That would be an embarrassment, and his poll numbers would fall from that. So, you have the DeSantis campaign, and it has no clear objective and no clear direction, where it's just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks, and nothing has sticks so far. He's trying to appeal to young voters, and that isn't going that well. Now he's trying to appeal to Trump voters, that's not going too well. He tried appealing to neocons. That's also not going very well, because the main thing is that he's appealing to neocons. You have all of these other candidates, maybe except Ramaswamy, who are also appealing to neocons. So why would I pick DeSantis over all of these other candidates who are basically saying the same thing? Outside of Florida, he really has nothing. He's really highlighting nothing different between all of these other candidates. And so he's going to drop here and he's just going to blend with the crowd. He has really nothing unique about him that he can set himself apart from the other candidates, and even the stuff that he could consider him being unique and having a unique attribute where he has the strength compared to the other candidates, he's not showing that at all. He is not highlighting that whatsoever, and is, and is instead going for the strategy of go for the generic Republican, the neoconservative, the George Bush type candidate, and that doesn't resonate with voters anymore. And that's why Trump has been nominated three times, and he's likely to be nominated the third time, where he won in 2016, he and he won in 2020, and he's likely to win in 2024. There's a reason why he keeps getting nominated. And even when he was in 2016, where there was a lot more support for neocon candidates, where Trump was a 
outsider to politics and wasn't a real big name in politics, where the last people heard of him was a 2000s show, which, yeah, that kind of did help him, but he basically needed to start from the bottom. DeSantis, he has a full record in his governorship in Florida, and he's still polling at 15%. That's not good. You have all of this experience and all of this positive feedback where you should have at least decent polling numbers if you highlight those and people generally like you in your state. And abroad, a lot of people who support Trump also like DeSantis, but you're not highlighting them. And instead, you're going with the strategy that every other candidate outside of Ramaswamy has adopted. There's a reason why Ramaswamy has gone up in the polls. He's going with the Trump strategy, and he's not directly competing against Trump. He's playing it smart, where you go for a cabinet position in the White House, and that's how you gain more political power, and that's how you gain more influence in the party. Because going against Trump in a race where he is guaranteed to win, and he's beating DeSantis by 40 points, so... I don't really see DeSantis pulling it out and winning the nomination. And it was pretty evident from even the start. Even at his low point, he was still uh, up 12 points, where as soon as those indictments came out, he, it was just over. The indictments have really helped him with the Republican base, because the Republican base, those indictments, are really hurting DeSantis, because Trump is the one facing the indictments. The media covers him, and the media attacks him. He's the face of the Republican attacks from the media and from the from the Biden White House. DeSantis doesn't have that. He can really only highlight Florida, and that's it. He doesn't have any unique skills where he doesn't really have any appeals even in certain states. He doesn't have a Midwestern appeal. He does he barely has an appeal in Arizona. That's pretty much the only state where he has a somewhat of a of an appeal, which even then, if DeSantis was on the ticket, he would likely have a harder time getting the Midwest, which is what you need to win the election. And even Arizona would be a very tough fight. And so he really has no advantages when it comes to the general election. He can really only highlight Florida and he does have a lot of skeletons in his closet, and people have seen them. You have the voting record from when he was a rep representative, where he had a pretty mixed voting record. You have the fact that in his campaign, he has gone far, far away from his strategy in being the governor of Florida, and has gone full neocon, full rhino. He's appealing to that base, and people don't like it. Even in his favorability polls, which... Before the nomination, and before he announced, he was pretty well liked. He was positive favorable, and he had a decent favorability rating compared to somebody like Donald Trump. Now, he's 14 points up in unfavorable, and his favorability has gone down to below 35, and his unfavorability is likely to hit 50. That's not good. That's an all-time high. And if half of the people in America don't like you, you're not going to win the nomination. Especially since a lot of them are Republicans who like Trump over DeSantis. So you have these Trump, Trump supporters that like DeSantis. Well, DeSantis running against Trump has pretty much killed all sympathy that those voters who like Trump have for DeSantis, which... DeSantis could have pulled at least some of them towards his campaign, but no, he didn't pull any of them because he went full neoconservative. That's what Trump is against, and going that route is going to kill all the disconnect with those voters who like both candidates. And you can't pull any of them because the reason why they initially liked you is because you were seen as more so a Florida continuation of Trump populist policies, and that's why a lot of people liked you, is because Trump endorsed you, and you were seen as a relatively Trump-friendly governor, which he basically gave you the job, 
So it was pretty, you know, useful to be on his good side, which DeSantis is not at all. He is totally not getting a cabinet position at all. Vice President, you can say goodbye to that. Even a future run, he's not getting a nomination at all. He's completely destroyed any chances of any future in politics outside of Florida in 2024. And he has really nowhere to go. Even in Florida, his home state where he is the popular governor of, he is also not doing that good. 10 plus 3 spread for Trump. That's not good. And the most recent poll, which is from about a month ago, that's Trump plus 20. If you're losing that much in your own state, where you are the popular governor of that state, you are going to lose. You will lose the primary, and you are likely to lose every single state if you can't even win your own state. That is very true for this primary, because look at these poll numbers. He's not doing that well, and Trump has a massive lead over him. So if you can't even win Florida or Utah or any other DeSantis-friendly state, you're not winning any of them, because it goes downhill in your support for them, where he's weakened in the polls a lot. He's gone from being the front runner in Texas in about last year, where he was up a few points on Trump in Texas for the primary. Now he is down 20 points there. It's not looking too good for DeSantis. And I've been saying this for a while now, DeSantis, drop out. It's not worth it anymore. Your campaign is effectively over, and you have no way forward. So at least save some credibility that you might have left, and drop out of the campaign and rework your public image. Otherwise, you have no future in politics, and you are not winning a nomination or any seat in office under a Trump White House. So yeah, if you think DeSantis could somehow win, which really isn't that a possibility anymore, it is a fantasy now where DeSantis isn't going to win. He's not going to win. But if you think that he could win, leave in the comments below. Or if any of these other people can win. Maybe Ramaswamy. I don't know how he would do that, but yeah, maybe he pulls out a miracle victory. So yeah, if you think that he could probably do that, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.